Hey there, this is Joe from Gen Ed Magic, and uh, welcome to the very first edition of the Gen Ed Magic Market Watch. Just a heads up though, by the time this is uploaded, these prices might have already shifted up just a little bit, so I'll uh, throw that out there. And uh, this is my first video, so it's probably going to be really crappy, So, but I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, I'm very excited to get into this, and uh, I have been very firm about this topic for a while now. Um, you know, people say, what's the best thing to get, as uh, like investment-wise? And I would say the dual lands because they're literally percentage wise they're gonna go up so much. You know, like five, ten years, it'd probably be like two to five grand a card. So yeah, that's cool. And these cards have been stagnant for a while as uh, collectors have been focusing on the limited versions. Um, and it, as luck turns out, now that uh, those cards are drying up in the market, people are now turning their attention to these revised ones. So. This is going to be more of an investment kind of video. We're going to be looking at the prices of, of these cards from their uh, recent lowest point before they started to move up in price. Their current average price and my own ballpark estimation of where these prices will be in the future. All right, with that being said, let's move on here. And so between July 2020 and April uh, 2021, I predict we'll see a 80 to 120 percent increase on all the revised duels. Just a disclaimer though, this is just a prediction video and I could be wrong on all aspects about these, so don't take my advice and buy every single dual land you can find in the market. Just don't do it. But seriously, just you might as well get on it, right? Alright, let's look at the top dual lands to pick up right now, as in today. Seriously, right now. So our first card, Savannah, this one has already been moving up uh, from its low of 160.81 to 188.99. Uh, no, this doesn't seem much legacy play. Only place you'll find this is uh, in Enchantress builds, and even then, this card isn't really essential there. I think that uh, Temple Garden is definitely a uh, fine budget alternative, but as you can see, this might not be the strongest investment, but it still has a solid chance of going up at least another 30 to 50 percent, so um, that's exciting. Number two, Scrub Land goes up 12.85 to 189.99. Way safer investment. It sees more play in Legacy decks. You can find this in Esper Deathblade and Mardu Midrange, if that's still a thing. And Plateau goes up 898 to 142.25. This sees play in some variants of Miracles and Burn. If you want to pick this up in as investment, this is the most affordable option. But I'm just saying that really loosely because 142 bucks. That's uh, that's still really insane. Um, moving on here. Number four, Tropical Island goes up. 1846 to 299.99. This is uh, this season of abundance of play on Legacy. Full Call Alone, Food Chain, Rock Delver, and many more. This particular card has been moving at a faster rate, so you literally might as well uh, you may, might as well uh, get on it right now. Um, so all right, you flippers, let's we'll move on to the next one. Number five, Tundra goes up 1976 to 332.62. This sees play in Miracles and Esper Deathblade. Nothing much to say about that one. All right, Tiger goes up 461 to 170. This sees, uh, doesn't see much legacy play. Even the Infamous Lands deck only runs two copies, right? So, wow, look at that Tiger. That's really nice. <laughs> All right, number seven, Underground Sea goes up uh, 1048 to 600 dollars. Wow, that's kind of crazy, right? So, questionably the most uh, sought after dual land. And the two best colors in the game, and you're going to find this all over the place in Legacy, from Grixis, uh, Grixis Control, Full Color Loam, Ditch Shadow, Grixis Delver, and many, many more. On top of that, you're probably going to make the most uh, from this investment, money-wise. I mean, $600? Like, come on. Gem Mint Returns? Like, that's going to—that's literally the price of my dog. All right. Moving on here. Um, what is this? Number 8, Bayou, goes up 258 to 297.25. Again, this sees a lot of legacy play. You'll find this in Full Color Loam, Turbo Depths, Bug Control, if that's still a thing, and many more. Number nine here, Badlands, goes up uh, 108 to 247.92. Again, this card is a serious legacy staple. Uh, Crisis Control, Black Ray Reanimator, Full Color Loam, Buried Phoenix, and many, many more. Um, craziness. And now for the number one investment. All right, number you guessed it, Volcanic Island goes up uh, 90, 95 cents to 449.95. You'll find this in decks like uh, Crisis Control, Sneak and Show, Miracles, Full Color Loam, Rug Delver, Crisis Delver, and the list goes on. Um, this is definitely your best pick uh, for an investment right now, just like percentage-wise. 
So I would just probably just drop two grand and buy a playset. I mean, why not? You're probably gonna make your four grand back. So um, that is it. That concludes the uh, that concludes the very the very gentleman Magic Market Watch. And hope you enjoyed the video. Give the video a like. You know, subscribe and tell your friends because you know these cards are just too cheap. And I'm just uh, I'm just saying that because they just are. You know, ten years. I'm I'm telling you, people are gonna be complaining. Two hundred dollars a card. Like, come on. They're gonna be two to five grand in ten years. You gotta be kidding me. That that's totally totally insane. So I thought this was really funny and a great and a great topic. So thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And this is Joy Magic.